Will you go stand over there by Jonathan, please, where I can see you? Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Hey, Jonathan. How you going, my man? Uh, All right, you know. You know, if we work through the weekend, we could finish this job, and the Andersons could move in next week. Would you hand me the brush? It's quitting time. Voila. Let's quit. You got a beautiful mother, you know that? Come on, Keith. Come on. Get in the truck. Good boy. Get in there, Casey. Oh. Did you pick up those samples today? Yeah, I put them in the back. Oh, don't give me that look. What look? That look. That's how I got pregnant in the first place. Oh, I don't think you can get any more pregnant. Come on, <laughs> right now, me and you in the truck, huh? <laughs> I don't think so. Unless you prefer pasta over me. Pasta primavera, fettuccine alfredo. Ooh, let's eat. I'm so hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Did he go to sleep? Finally. I tried to cut the story short, and he caught me. Well, at least he pays attention. Will you stop worrying about the money, huh? Somebody has to. It'll work out. That's what you always say. Well, it has so far. she is. It was as if she was looking right at me. Honey, I mean, this is crazy. You can't look at a magazine after 13 years and I mean, you don't know if it's a boy or a girl. You don't even know if Nung had the baby before she died. She's the right age. She lives on the same beach in Vang Tao where I met her mother. Her mother's name is Tuet Nyung. She's Tuet Mai. It all fits. Come on, look. <laughs> she even has my chin. Now, how do you explain that, huh? Coincidence. Honey, you want it to be her. You never really got over this. I thought I had. I mean, I haven't dreamt or thought about this in years. Do you think... I don't know. But do you think maybe you're feeling guilty because we're having another baby? No way. Not ever. Ever. But she's my child. My daughter is alive after all these years. Well, what do you want to do about it? I want to bring her here. 
Vung Tau. That's, uh, that's an R&R place for GIs, isn't it? Yes, but I was stationed there as a medic. Uh, she had no papers, and I couldn't get permission to marry her. So I signed on for another tour of duty. Uh -huh. It says uh, you were notified of her death by one of the refugee agencies. Any word about a child? Nothing. Just that she was no longer living. I mean, not even how she died. She had my address. I wrote and wrote and never got an answer. These children have such a fragile existence. She might be better off where she is. She's probably had no education, not even in her own language. How will she manage here? She'll have me. Look, we know where she is. All the government's got to do is check her out and put her on a plane. That's impossible. Why is it impossible? Well, we have no diplomatic relations with them. And the only way was through the orderly departure program, and that's been discontinued. She's lost 13 years of her life and her mother to the same damn red tape. I'm not going to let it happen again. Look, official channels aren't always the best way. There's a uh, counselor, Jim Barker, at the vet center. I don't need counseling. I need action. Now, his wife is Vietnamese. He may have contact sources. Check him out. Yeah, thank you. Linda, give me Washington on the phone. I'll be in my office, all right? Hi, doll. Hi. What did the doc say? Well, we're doing fine, both of us. What did the congressman say? He said, don't forget to vote for him in November. <laughs> Come on, let's take a walk. I took that job with the water pure and fine company. You didn't. I thought you were just going to talk to him. Well, they wanted an answer. Well, we didn't even get a chance to talk about it, and uh, we have a job to finish. Look, I, I don't want you around paint and all that stuff. I can finish it on my own. Will it pay enough so I don't have to work? It's commission, so it depends on how hard I work. I can set my own hours so I can take off. I liked us going to work together. It was fun. It'll be all right. Look, I got to go. I got to meet the sales director this afternoon. I'm lonesome already.
Casey. Go on inside, Casey. Casey, go inside. How you doing? Never a penny, but I'll die happy. She was in the ninth month when I left. On the plane ride home, I had a dream that I delivered our child. It was so real, I woke up in a sweat. Nothing since then? After that, I just sort of drifted and crashed. And then I met Laura. What about Laura? She was the first person I told about those days. Oh, boy. A lot of tears were shed that night. Laura's behind me all the way on this. Great. Was life any help? Uh, I called the next day. Nothing. So, back to this private. You know, if they'd let me, Jim, I'd go myself. This is a long shot. But I've been asked to go to the Philippines for a little while to work in a Vietnamese refugee camp. Let me duplicate this picture and I'll take it with me. Maybe somebody passing through will recognize her. Yeah, sure. Tip my. That means a lucky snow white flower. Hey, listen. Um... Could you copy this too? It's a mother. Just in case. Nothing clearer? Uh, you know, afterwards, I burned almost everything from Nam. Except that. OK. Who knows? Maybe we can put together a small miracle. Hey, when would you go? Mm, couple months. Couple months? Look, you got to be prepared for this to take a long time. OK. Sure. Jim found her. Hey, Jonathan. There's some refugees in the Philippines. Here's a picture. Look, Jonathan, you got a new sister. It's her? They really found her? Yeah, and there's a letter. Jim translated it. Dear father, it is like a dream. My father looks for me from the unknown. I think maybe there can be happiness in my life. I send you this picture as a souvenir. 
Your daughter, Mai. My beautiful and lovely daughter. I tried very hard to find you and your mother. I am thankful you are alive and well. I am married now to a lady named Laura, and you have a sister, Amanda, and a brother, Jonathan, and a dog, Casey. There is much to say, but the most important thing is that I love you and want you with me. Love your father, Barry. Just before I left the Philippines, I met this woman who was going to Vietnam to make a documentary about Russian tourists at Vung Tau. She agreed to look for my, get some footage so you could get a good look at her. Boy, some places never change, huh? I think the beach is a little further on. That's her. You sure that's the girl you saw in life? Absolutely. Look at that smile. Honey. Well, she, she looks a lot younger in the picture. I. But yes, I think it's her. <laughs> is she OK? I mean, where does she live? She's living with someone, a woman. That's her. She look familiar? She told the filmmaker she's to at Mai's mother. It's impossible. This woman says that she's young? She said she was an orphan. Come on, turn around. Turn around, let me see. Oh, I, I don't know. Well, where was she when they found Mai? Hiding. She was afraid it was a trick to see if she knew Americans. She and Mai have been together, huh? No question. Where's Barry's picture of no? Let's put it up there. Inequality's lousy. I can't tell anything from that. There's no other proof? That's too hard. Their information is so incomplete. Well, was there anything special about Nung that would identify her? She spoke English. So does this lady. Well, how does this affect getting my here now? Well, <clears throat> Mai's part American, so she's entitled. And because she's entitled, so is her mother. And her mother has another child, seven years old. And she'd come too. All three of them? How are we going to manage? There are agencies and things to help. They're a family. They don't break them up. Don't they? You ought to consider the adjustment problem. Maya's 14 and she's never been to school. Once she's sold her peanuts, she's free to run around the beach. That's all the more reason why we should get her here as quickly as possible. You know, you could care for her and her family by sending them presents they could sell. That's more than most do. No way. That child is going to get all the things I couldn't give her mother. Wait a minute. Didn't you say that people attach themselves to Amerasian children all the time so that they can come to this country? It happens. I guess you can't blame her even if she is faking. Barry? You don't know what it was like. No. I don't. I'm going to check the babysitter. How can I not be absolutely sure? So, what now? I see a lawyer that Jim knows. You're gonna bring them all here? Keeping my promise to her, after all these years. Well, you could do what Jim suggested. You could send them help. And leave them there? What happened wasn't your fault. The night I told you, 
You shared the pain. You understood. I cared about you. That's what I shared. I need you to help me on this. I couldn't live with myself or anyone if I turned my back on her now. But it isn't just your child anymore. No, it's not. It's a chance to make up for the betrayals and the ugliness of that war. I thought it was behind me. Past. I was wrong. Suddenly the past is very present. There's enough love in our house to handle anything. You know that. All right. So how do you feel now? Well, when it was just my, I was really excited. It never occurred to me that her mother would still be alive. I don't know. I don't think I could do it. How could you not, for somebody you love? What are you going to do when they all get here? Well, Mai's going to live with us. Uh, the mother and the other child are going to stay with a Vietnamese woman named Thuy. And then she's going to tutor Mai. That's not what I meant. Laura, you're taking an awful risk. He needs me. He needs me to help him make this right. When he, when he had to leave Nung pregnant, it was like the worst thing he ever had to do. I mean, it never healed in him. I don't have any choice. Yes, you do. He's crazy about you. All you have to do is insist that he find another way. Okay. Say he does. He'd never forgive me. Way down, it would... It would never be the same between us. I'm hoping that if I get an exit visa, I can go right from New York to Vietnam. Well, doesn't it make more sense to wait and see if they let him in the U.S.? Well, maybe if I'm there, they'll let them come out with me. Otherwise, it could mean some more waiting. Well, I guess I don't know when I'm going to see you again. I'll call from New York. Oh, I made some lemon bread. Jim was saying that it's a custom to take something when you go to somebody's home, so... I'm going to an airport, not someone's home. Well, whatever, it's their country. Yeah, you're right. It's a nice gesture. Thanks. Kids, come say bye to Daddy. Yeah, come on, kids. Play a big... Kiss a roo on your dad's cheeks. Come on, a big smacker. Yes. Mm, I love those kisses. Yes, I love those kisses. Mm. Listen, you're the man of the house while I'm gone, so you take care of things, okay? Okay, all right. No cook or robber coming. Good, good boy. Yeah, it's okay for mommies and daddies to kiss. Well, Take care, okay? You know, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye, Daddy. Bye, sweetheart. Vietnam, we meet, we say, uh, you look fatter than last time. Compliment. No, don't say that to my wife. No good for American ladies? Uh, no. So, uh, can you help me get the documents and the exit visas I need? We fly for many years. Documents are lost. We're a poor country. No copy machine, no typewriter, some office, no phone. How long has it been since you've been home? Two years. You must be very homesick. Oh, yes. First year, most difficult. I dream every night. My colleagues dream, too. Ten times I dream of going back to see my country. First dream, the plane landed on top of a mountain. I could see houses below. I couldn't reach them. Always the same. See, but couldn't reach you. Then you understand how I feel about my daughter. I know where she is, but I can't reach her. Yeah, I understand. It's the emotional emergency. 
You got your visa. Thank you. It's hard to believe we were fighting each other. Very hard. That time, much pain. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. She said she'd get to it as soon as possible. The interpreter said they're checking their health reports and papers. When will we know if they can enter the U.S.? After they process them. They told us they'll do it as quickly as possible. You know, they probably sold everything they got to get this far. It's inhuman to make them go back. You know that, don't you? Look, there they are. Nope. I'm sorry. Hey, what's happening? What's going on? Where are they taking you? The seven-year-old is sick of the lungs and may not enter the United States until she's cured. Well, they can cure her in the States. It's health rules. It's for everybody who comes to America. Well, I can't walk out of here and let this happen. I've got to see her. You may get her now. Your daughter's clear. I get permission to leave. Will you take her alone? What did her mother tell her? She says, Maya's American girl now. Go with father and make him proud. Wait a minute. Just want to give her this. Hey, hey yeah. can you cut me some slack, huh? It's okay. this problem. We'll take it easy. You better let me. They're afraid you might pass through something. It's a family, man. Take it easy. Em xong rồi. À thưa bà này, thưa đi về để bà về quê đây. Yeah, just roll it here. There you go. Right there.
Hello. Two at mine. Hello. You're very beautiful. Ask her if I can give her a hug. Ba mai hỏi, ba mai muốn ôm mai chút được không? Sneakers. Feel nice, huh? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Ask her if she thinks her father is handsome. Come on, baby. Ba hỏi, ba con có đẹp trai không? Ba đẹp. She says you're handsome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please be seated and fasten your seatbelt. Uh, excuse me, do you have anything to snack on? Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. Something to drink, please? As soon as we take off. Thank you. I'll leave you in Bangkok. Will there be a translator to meet you in Chico? Uh, yeah, uh, and the woman's also going to tutor mine. Oh, good. Here it is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here you go. <laughs> My cell peanut too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My cell's peanuts too. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go to America. Yeah, America. My, my, I, I'll teach you English. You teach me Vietnamese, okay? Come on, uh, let's count. Come on. One. I speak English. I know. One. One. Mo. Mo. Okay. Two. Ah! Ah! Oh. My God! Uh, uh, my uh, 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 Tell, 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 tell me she's flying like like a, like a bird to America. Tell her to look at the clouds. What? No, no, she'll, she'll, yeah, she'll be all right. She'll be all right. Who's that, Uncle? Look, look, sweetheart. I'm not going to let anything happen to you, okay? Huh? <laughs> okay. Big smile. Kids, give me a hug. Come on. That's it. That's it. Give me a kiss. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. Welcome to America. Chào em. Chào cô. Tôi là Thúy. Tôi sẽ giúp làm thông ngôn cho em. Cảm ơn. Bà nói mừng em tới Mỹ. America. Thank you very much. When's she coming here? As soon as they cure the little one. What was she like? Frightened, thin. There were a lot of guards and a, and a lot of hassle. <sighs> and having to send Mai off alone, that was awful. What happened when you spoke to her? I didn't. The guards wouldn't let me near her. You know, Mai's been in that bathroom a long time. Maybe I should check on her, huh? Hey. That lemon bread, that was really great. Mai? Mai? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. She's probably never taken a bath. I remember with her mother. I had to take one with her to show her. 
Um, we have a slight problem here. What? Oh. <laughs> she has her pants on. Oh. She's modest. Oh, uh, out. We're gonna take it out. I've forgotten so many things. She's just shy about her body. There you go. Well, we won't worry about it tonight. We'll just go to bed. Jonathan, come on, honey, fine, bedtime. Fine. Sleep. Sleep. Okay? Sleep. Go ahead. Makes it official, okay? Now listen, let's go back to bed. This time you sleep on the bed, not the floor, okay? We'll go to sleep. You you lay down on the bed, no? Okay. Just this one time, okay? Just this one time. Come here, I want to show you something. Go wake up your dad. What? Oh, good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. I found her on the floor. She's probably never slept in a bed before. Why don't you show my how we wash our face and hands? Okay. Boy, thank you. Come here, Mom. Oh, sure. Seduced and abandoned I was last night. I'm really sorry she didn't sleep well last night. Oh, that's okay. She'll get used to it. It's very important that we teach her. She's got so much to learn. It's important we teach her American things right away. Okay. It just seemed that uh, other things were more important last night. Um, good morning, little miss. Are you going to eat for me this morning? Are you? It's okay. Good girl. One more bite. Come on. Hello, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she must be throwing up. <coughs> Come here, sweetie. Come here. Oh, shit. Come here, honey. Maybe we should have made rice. Okay. Oh, no. I didn't realize what time it was. I'm going to be late for work. Uh, Daddy. What? Mike, uh, you stay here. You stay with Mom. Laura, Mom. Sweetie, don't force her to call me mom. Oh, it's all right, huh? I'll see you later. Bye-bye, kids. Bye. Bye. Uh, no, my, you stay here. Laura, help me. Honey, you stay here. Barry's going to work, so you're going to stay here. 
We'll be okay. We'll be all right. All right. I'll call you later. Bye. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Sit down. You feeling better? Why don't you try some dry toast? That'll probably go down a little easier. Okay? Now, young lady, are you going to feed yourself this morning? Well, looks like we're going to have a fun day. Dribbles half court, he goes for the shot. Oh, oh, rebound, rebound. You're a big help, you know. <laughs> Honey, you know, the people in the yellow house are being transferred. Mr. Thurston wants to know if we're interested. To rent or buy? Like this, to rent with an option to buy. I don't know, I was thinking, uh, if we could afford to, I'd rather buy this than that one. Sure could use the room. Yeah, okay. Hey, Mai, come on out and play. Mai, come on. I'll get her. Don't force her, all right? What's happening? Look at her. Look what she's doing. All right, all right, relax. Let me see. Let me see. She's coining. Nyong used to do that. She rubbed menthol on her neck and then scratch it with a coin. It gets the blood circulating and, and, and bad things out of the body. Well, tell her not to do that. She's hurting herself. It's part of a culture. What do you expect? I just expect her to be part of the family. That's all. All right, look. Just give it time. She'll learn our ways. I'm, I'm sorry, I just... You just scared me. That's... That's okay. I liked it. I thought so, too. Careful. Yeah. He was so wishy-washy. He couldn't make up his mind. Well, I'd take them both. I don't know what his problem was. Well, that's very. Okay. Hey, let's get some ice cream. I'm on a diet. What diet? Yeah. Oh, come on, you're What's so thin. Have some ice cream, huh? Have some ice cream. <laughs> Thanks. Anything else right now? No, Nothing. Thanks. No, thanks. So, how's it going? <laughs> Great. Well, can we start with not taking showers? Okay, so there's a few cultural differences. Uh, honey, she squats on top of the toilet. But she's never seen one before. <laughs> you were there, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, but I didn't get quite as involved as you did, Barry. <laughs> I guess you could say that again. I didn't get quite as involved as you did, Barry. Yeah. <laughs> guys, guys. This is not funny. No, it's not. It was serious. But it was fun. I was happy. It was a beautiful, happy, fun time for me. And you can say that after the way everything turned out. Yes, I can, Jan the Feminist. Oh. Because I paid the price for that happiness. Not to mention Laura. Oh, so that's it. You're just defending Laura, huh? Oh, come on, guys. She doesn't need defending. Right. Um, and can we have a little fun here? No, baby, I think she's just jealous. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Barry just thinks all Western women are jealous of Eastern women. Oh, you wish. I know, honey. I'll just start walking behind you. Be obedient. And patient. How about subservient? Now, you see, that's a misconception. They're not subserve anything. They got a tiger inside. And they explode. And that's what makes them great. They are not obedient. At least my is it. Well, that's the American in her. And let me ask you a question. How come when I explode, you don't look at me and say, ooh, Laura, that's so wonderful. She's got a tiger inside her. <laughs> you two are insane. Really, you're certifiable. I'll tell you something. If it were me, I would be out the door. Why is it that the night I met you and Laura... Excuse me? No. I knew I should stay away from you. Huh? Oh, come on, you guys. You know, I saw you first. Your legs, actually. Yeah, I remember that, Bear. You were really checking us out. No. I was lonely. I was lonely as hell that night. You had the legs. But Laura had the eyes and the heart. Lucky for me. 
because she ticks me off, that's why. Anything that questions you ticks you off. That's not true. She's just trying to cause trouble. She doesn't get what we have. She's just trying to see my side, that's all. Oh, yeah? Well, I see your side and your front, and I love it. Don't look at this. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to lighten things up, huh? Which is your answer to everything. All right. You want heavy? Okay. Everything Mai knows has been taken from her. Her language, her friends, her mother. You know, I wish you could put yourself in her place instead of expecting her to turn into an instant American. And you expect me to be some kind of perfect person who has this big heart and all this understanding. I can't even have an ordinary human response. I thought what I just asked was an ordinary human response. I can't win. It's not a contest. Isn't it? You ought to see her face sometimes. You're an adult. She's a child. Now, I just wish you'd put yourself in my place. What place is that, Laura? Are you in love with Noon? Are you in love with her? I'm married to you. This is where my life is. But your life would have been with her if everything had worked out, right? That's exactly right. You still love her? Of course I do. Okay? I always will. Is that what you want to hear? What's the matter with you, Laura? Does she have to be dead for you to be happy? Of course not. I just don't want my whole life to fall apart to make her happy. Our life... And it's not gonna fall apart. Nothing worked for me till I met you. You helped me put it all together. Pretty good, huh? Yes, well, this is fun for her, sitting still in the classroom well. Yeah, just like her old man. Of course, now I wish I'd known better. You know, I have the feeling mine knows more English than she shows. Yeah? Well, you know, it's, it's the way they look at you. My mother used to look me in the eyes, and I think, wow, she's reading my mind. And half the time, she didn't understand a word. No! Hey! Hey! Hey, Mai! Mai! What happened? Come on, come on, stop. Calm down. Mai, can you explain why you threw the ball at Karen? Come on, baby, what happened? What's wrong? Hey, my, 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 stop! She fell! She gets mad at us whenever she does something wrong. Yeah. Oh, look, I didn't yeah. know. I'll talk to her. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. ten more minutes. Well, I asked her about school, and all she says is fine, good, that's it. Mai. Mai. In school, soccer, what happened? Come on. Sweetie, don't feed the dog. Must study English. <laughs> it's not going to help making a joke out of it. Why didn't I call Twee? Why Karen and Mai angry? Listen to me, I sound like Tonto. Twee. Why did you have a fight with Karen in school today, huh? Um, well, we have Karen lied. Today. No good. 
Karen no good. Would you do me a favor? Ask my uh, what Karen lied about, would you? Yeah, just a minute. No, I Josa, no get jiao, be jiao tong. Mommy, mommy, I can't get out. Mommy, where are you? Honey, mommy's here. Mommy's here. She wants to okay, now, you. can you hear me, Jonathan? Yeah. Okay, I want you to look right under the doorknob, honey. Yeah. You, you see that little round thing there? Yeah. Okay, I want you to take a hold of it, and I want you to turn it to the, to the right. All right. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay, try the door. I think you got it. Okay, thanks. Good boy. Yeah, uh, good boy. You're okay. Yeah, ask her if anything is bothering her at home. Chào lo vì mẹ cháu vẫn chưa tới. I can place you better. Okay. Yeah, it's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, all right, thanks. She says she's frightened because she misses her mother. She's not here yet. And because she hears us fight at night, she's afraid. We've let her down, Laura. We've let her down? We've gone into debt to get her here and her family. This has been two years of our lives. Vietnam happier. He had too much work. Father, too much time work. Well, any time you feel like going back and selling peanuts on the beach, you go right ahead. It's just hard for Laura to deal with the cultural differences. That's mainly where they clash. You're being dense by what you're asking. No, I'm not. Look, I don't know what to say or do. Hey, I know she's hurting and scared, but so am I. Tell her that. I can't. She wants reassurances. I can't even help myself on this, so how am I going to help her? You better think of something. She known Young is in Bangkok? Huh? Please. Look, everybody's got a short fuse around our house, all right? There's no sense in worrying her until the government actually puts Nyung on a flight. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Remember? I used to look like flowers. You think I should get something like that for Nyung when she gets here? She probably prefer American blue jeans. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Hey, we did it, buddy. We made a miracle. It's like being 19 again. But you're not. I know. You got a whole different life. You can't just wing this and hope everything falls into place. Look, I don't even know if I've done the right thing. I just know I had to do it. Nyung is entitled to something from me. You're giving her the chance for a whole new life. And what am I supposed to do? Just dump her in a strange land? She's going to need me. I've got to take care of her. She'll find a community faster than you think. Barry, don't do anything irresponsible. It just seemed very simple back then. You see, I loved the girl, and all I wanted to do was care for her and be happy. And that scares the hell out of Laura. And me too. My, I expected we'd be friends, you and I. It's not my fault that, that Barry isn't with your mother. I didn't even know him when he left her. I love Barry, too. You don't understand a word I say. Barry wants, do you understand? Barry wants you and me to work. Barry's father, he worked. Come back for me. And me. I wanted you too. I, I helped bring you here. I did. I helped. Are there woods like this in Bung Tao? Bung Tao. Vietnam. Bang Tao, Vietnam, right. Tree. Tree. Many trees make wood. Wood. Put wood, burn? Right. That's right. Uh, many trees, wood. 
Woods? All trees. Too much wood. All same, no good. No, no, you're doing fine. Too many, yeah, catch up. How come you never get mad at Barry? Just me. Too hard. Maybe never be American girl. Too hard. Well, it's hard for me, too. Twee! He's been working really long hours. We never get to spend any time alone. How well, long till she gets here? Well, every day brings her closer, and I swear Barry's farther away. I, I never know what he's thinking. Laura, maybe you should start group again. Laura Hall. Speak English. Do work. Take bath. More work. Laura is quite right. When you work, you learn fast and you must catch up. You catch. Jago. <laughs> Jen, bed cover. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Wow, wait. Very pretty earrings. I bring Vietnam. My? Barry bought those for you in Bangkok. She left with absolutely nothing. She does this. I bring Vietnam. You know that's not true. She knows she's lying. No TV. Now what? Hi, Legs. Hi, Handsome. Well, gotta go. Next time, get a sitter. Yeah, we'll have lunch. Hi, Going so Dad. quickly, huh? Yep, bye. Hi, Johnny. Okay, sweetie, come on. It's time to wake up. Guess what I got for you kids today? Bye. Look. A oh, pocket full of tickles! Oh, God! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Get up! No! No! Stop it! Damn you! Hey, come on! You can't play like that. You can't roll around on the floor. I mean it! I mean it! Stop it! She's not a baby. She's she's a young woman. She's a kid. I used to do that with a mother. Exactly. You're jealous. You're damn right I am. She's not numb. You can't relive that romance. Look, I was just trying to make a laugh, okay? You just won't see. You just won't see it. Yeah, you're right, I won't see. I don't want to argue. I'm sick of this. All right, now look what you did, damn it. What I? Oh, I got to get out of here before he starts throwing things. Yeah? Well, I'll start for you, okay? Stop that. it. How's that? Stop it. Stop it. I just pulled it. I'll, I'll save him. Stop, I'll stop, it. stop, all right? Now we're going to stop. Barry make big mess, huh? Laura angry with me. Laura angry with me. She won't send me back. No one 
is going to send you back, no matter what. I promise. Where were you last night? Are you going to talk to me or what? I was at Jan's. I had to get out of there. Come on, Laura. OK, now who's doing the avoiding? OK, I am. I'd like to avoid my whole life. Where's the woman I married? Where's all that generosity? What? Where's the lover and friend I married? I wish you could talk to other women, see how they'd react. Well, they wouldn't be married to me. Exactly. Oh, I get that message loud and clear. You either toe the line or you're not going to have a husband. I'm not going to just toss out those feelings and memories, OK? And what are you going to do when Nung gets here? I don't know. Great. That's just great. You just keep living in that fantasy world. Yeah? Well, you live in a fantasy. If you think me or anyone can just walk away from that experience as if nothing happened. Business as usual. That's a fantasy. You finished? She's coming. The end of the week. Damn it. You know, I wish you didn't feel this threatened. I've got this child that totally resents me, and your first love showing up. How am I supposed to live through this? Try trusting me. Will you do that? I don't know what I'm going to do. Just get out of my way. Cars over there. Come on, see if you can beat me. <laughs> I saved. Show my mom. Yeah, all right, all right. Wait, wait. Let me finish reading it, all right? It says you made the track team. Track team? Team? You and friends. And more friends, all run. You make team. Team like wood, many friends, many tree. Right on. <laughs> Where to? We shop. Whatever you say, princess. I don't really have any choice, do I? I mean, he's not going to give this up. You and Barry have a history together, a family. You've got to have faith in that. Yeah, well, my faith kind of goes in and out. I mean, it's important for me to be generous, but I don't want to be dumb. I, I don't know this woman. I don't know what she wants. I don't think she has the same expectations. She knows Barry has a family. I'm sure she's very grateful. Does Barry know how you feel? He's not really hearing me these days. Oh? I don't know. We just... We used to be able to talk to each other. We just talk. It was easy. I... I... Uh, I'm angry, and I'm mad at myself for being angry. Nothing wrong with being angry. Fly! We fly, America! Right. Very long trip. No ground. Very high. My mom up there? She will be tomorrow. Is not fly, Vietnam? <laughs> this more? More. This more? More. More, 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 more. Oh. 
You pay much money for me. Why you do that? Laura and I wanted to bring you and your mother here to make up for all those years. Is why you work all time? Get money? I work to make life better for us. I work too in Vietnam. Help my mom. Here your work is to study and learn English. You know, it was Laura's money too. We both paid to bring you here. My Laura. So we could be together. My daughter, she knows I love you. And my mom? Your mom will have a better life. New friends. Not your life. Different now. In Vietnam, all live same place. Different here. Your mother will be near. You can visit her whenever you want. No big family. Yes, big family. Much shopping. Now I shop good, like a making girl. The plane lands at 2.47, but I think we should be there early just in case. Did you call Twee? Yeah, everything's arranged. I guess you talk to the caseworker and they can do a lot of this stuff by mail. You sure you want to come to the airport? Okay, dumb question. Already. The flights are early. I'm Laura, Barry's wife. I see you in picture. Welcome to America. Thank you very much. Yeah. For you. Thank you. You're finally here. I'll drive you to Twee's house. Mommy, what's wrong? Nothing, honey, I'm fine. Then why are you crying? I'm not, see? <laughs> Mommy was just sad for a minute, that's all. Why don't you be a big boy and open that for me, okay? Pretty dolly. Yes. Does it have a name? Name Twee. Name Twee. I'm full of that suit to my dear. She's learning very quickly. After you write, I speak very much English to them. Before I only speak Vietnamese. Much safer. I get tea now. No, no please. Please talk to me. 
I've waited a long time. Okay, you help me. Tomato. Tomato. Maybe get tea. I'd like some. Thank you. I need more milk, Mom. Okay. You worked very hard. You're not new, are you? That's all right. It's all right. You do not know? You're a lot alike. I couldn't be sure. I dreamed, prayed that you would be her. I don't understand. You see me in the picture. And at the airport. I think you must know. I needed for you to be her. Very badly. No. No. No, you, you must go. No, no, wait, please. No, let's talk some more, please. No, you must go. Please, I'm very tired. I have long journey. I've got to talk with you. I have a lot of questions. Tomorrow, I will answer questions. Now! I'm sorry. I just need to know about you. We'll give you answer tomorrow. Please! Tell me something really horrible. You don't want me to see your face. She's not young. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't believe this. I've been sitting here for hours alone, wondering what's going to happen. Am I going to have a life? Am I going to have a husband? Where have you been? I couldn't come to you right away. Who is she? I don't know. I mean, I don't even know how she got mine. Or whether or not she even knew Nyung. What are you going to do about her? <laughs> Baby, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do anything. She seems like she's had a hard life. And I am grateful to her for taking care of Mai. And what if she had been Nyung? Damn you. I don't know. It would have been hard. It's been hard. That isn't an answer. I wanted to help her. I'm married to you, you know that. I want, I wanted to help her. I'm, I'm sorry for you, you know that, I. Yeah, I know. Look, I just thought I could finally end it. Make it right. Just let it go. Just let go of it. It can't stay with you forever. It's what helped me learn to know how to love and care for you. How could you not know that wasn't known when you saw her in Vietnam? I told you, the guards. I don't think so. I think the minute you saw that tape that you were making her into Nung. And that's what I've been so afraid of. Not Nung. This need you have to bring her back. Look, you can be angry with me for being blind and stupid, whatever.
But I never stopped loving you. I thought we had enough love that we could work it out. Come here. Okay. Whenever. Don't be frightened. I'm not going to send you back. Just want to ask you some questions. Please talk to me. You loved her very much. Yes, I loved her very much. You ask. I will try to answer. Thank you. When was the last time you saw Nyung? Seen Nyung? Yeah. Tell me everything about her. I never seen young. Then you don't know her, huh? No. I was hoping you could tell me something about her. You know, what happened to her. You know, during that time. Everywhere was very big confusion. Many people were lost. What happened when Saigon fell? At first we think Viet Cong will come and kill us. Girls with babies of American GIs, they shave their heads, rub skin with dirt so they are dark, hide them, burn all papers. And Viet Cong come, but they didn't hurt us. All was okay. But it was too late. Papers were gone. They said you were sent to a re-education camp, you know, like a prison. No. I got to country. New economic zone. Government want to rebuild, so people with no work must go live on land and make farm. Was Mai with you then? Yes, she was a little girl. Time's very hard. We hungry all the time. We try. Then we go back to Vungta. How old was Mai when you got her? I didn't get Mai. I am her mother. You're lying. She is my child. Her father was American. But you are not her father. That's impossible. She's my daughter. And you used her to get here. I am her mother. I have right. Yeah? Why should I believe you? You see me in the picture. I give you chance to see your mistake. Sure. You looked at a picture, and you said I was the father. That's some chance you gave me. And what chance you give us? How dare you be angry? You come to my country, and what you do, you take girls, and you make babies, and then you go. You leave wrong address, wrong name, and you forget. I didn't forget. You leave young. My father leave her. But I found her, and I brought her here. For you, you got a free ride. Ride was not free. I pay very big price. I lose my homeland. I'm very proud. I love Vietnam. Does mine know the truth, or was she a part of this too? Barry! What happens now? Will they send them back? No. Mine and family have a legal right to be here because father's American. Think she wants to find them? Are you kidding me? She just used me to get here. Wait a minute. You didn't ask for a blood test? You didn't wait for confirmation? I didn't think I needed any. The photo said she was an orphan. The places, the dates, they all fit. Well, you brought them here, you're off the hook. I'm off nothing. I can still see Nyung. 
What she get is she's scared alone. She knew. She knew better than I it was hopeless. Barry, he did everything he possibly could. I couldn't even protect one little woman who never hurt anyone. It's like having to die twice. You tried, and I failed. So what do I do now, huh? Do I start looking all over again? Dreaming? Having nightmares that somewhere out there, my child needs me. She asked if she could talk to you. Chị nhớ đường về không? Sao? What do I call you? Ờ, oh, Tan very, very angry. Does that surprise you? My very angry, too. She did not know. Didn't she see the picture and know that wasn't you? Only the letter come first. It say, I am your father. I think maybe it was soldier I knew. With a different name? Do not know his real name. Only what they call him. Then the picture come of Barry with Nyung, and I see, I see mistake. You still let her go with a man that was not her father. I see picture of you and family. I see he's a good man. You only want to help and be kind. Do you ever think how I might feel? Your mother. I have little girl. Amanda. When I was my age, there are many G.I. and Von Tau. At night, outside hotel, I see soldier and girl dancing. Color lights, much food, everyone happy. I am hungry, child, outside. And one night, someone said to me, come. And I say, OK. Soon some man will say, come to my. Then she is no more smiling girl on beach selling peanuts. My country is very poor. Can I help these people? So why do you come to me? My is very different now. She learned to be American girl. I have nothing. Can give her nothing. In your home, she learned much. It's better for her. What will Barry do? He's pretty stubborn. I don't know what he'll do. I am sorry I caused trouble for your family. So what did Jim say? Any further involvement is up to me. Us. That's it? Sorry as hell to put you through this. I'm the one who owes a life, not you. You act with your heart. It's, it's what I love. You did something kind of wonderful, you know? We're in debt because of it. Why aren't you mad as hell at me? I am. I'm also pretty proud of you. <laughs> the other night, I... Thanks. I'm sorry, I didn't... It's okay. Just... It's been quite an ordeal. Her name is Ba. I 
20 baht. You spoke with him? I didn't know. I want to put Nyung's name and the child back on the list. I figured you would. I mean, they still might be out there somewhere. The records are so screwed up. Okay. No miracles or fantasies. It's just something I want to do. English, please. Why? It's not my country. I have no home, no father. Barry gave you chance. More than your real father give you. You learn. Make him proud for what he did. I'm not proud. So ashamed. My. I'm sorry you come to America. You bring bad things. Listen to me, listen to me, nothing has changed. Not father! Hold still! I picked you out of that magazine. You hear me? I picked you. You make a mistake. Maybe, but I tried for two years to bring you here. I flew to Vietnam, I brought you to America. I'm not gonna lose you now. Wrong child on beat. Not wrong child. You picked me for your father. Not same blood. Maybe not same blood. But in here, you're my child. My is Barry's daughter in here. You understand? In my heart. Where Barry's Vietnam child? I don't know. Someday you find? I don't know. But I found you. I love my mom. She needed me care for her. It's okay for you to do both. You can love us both. Why you do this? Stay tuned, because up next on True Movies 1, anything to survive. Alternatively on True Movies 2, Passing Glory. And on True Entertainment, The Waltons.